throw. Exactly. 58-yard attempt by I mean, Young Way Koo. Nails to 58. All right, the Falcons pick up a wild 26 to 24 victory over the Saints. Mina, what was the difference in this game? I thought Raheem Morris did a great job calling that defense and getting Derek Carr to play really more like the Derek Carr we saw last year and not the Derek Carr the first couple of weeks, which to say they heated him up with their five-man pressures, which were extremely effective. And in response to that, he was dinking and dunking a bit this game. Uh, had a very quick time to throw mm. versus those blitzes. This is not a defense that blitzes a lot, but I thought it was a very smart call by Morris and his defensive coordinator, Jimmy Lake, to add on with some of those linebackers, uh, including the guy you see here, Troy Anderson, who played out of his mind yesterday. Yeah, I'm pretty comfortable saying through four games, the best player on Atlanta's offense has been Darnell Mooney. Mm. It really has been. I mean, they've placed mm. him in many times, like that X receiver, put out there by yourself and go win. And he's proved them capable, and proved himself capable and proved them smart. I think the way that they have allowed him to go vertical with some of his routes has been a big deal for this offense. You saw him making some of, some of those contested catches. Laura, you said they needed a minor miracle. <laughs> the only reason the minor miracle happens is because he wins at the line of scrimmage. I think that's a massive deal for this offense. Now, that being said, I want to see Drake London make a couple more contested catches. They yeah. got to get Kyle Pitts to make a couple more contested catches. They're not really like separators in this mm. league. So they got to use those big frames. Now, Drake has done it way more than Kyle has this year. But I'm expecting Drake London to enter a different conversation this season at that wide receiver spot. Mm. He's got to use his frame more consistently to make some of those kind of mm. opportunity 50-50 throws. Especially with... Yeah, so... The Falcons are in an interesting spot because they've been able to come away with some really ugly wins, right? Um, they step up and do what needs to be done, but it hasn't been great football, right? It just it just hasn't. You have to acknowledge that. doesn't mean that they're not a great football team. doesn't mean that they're not going to continue to get better, but they could have easily lost to the Eagles. They could have lost this game. The Saints had more first downs, more third down conversions, more total plays, 70 to 51, more total yards, passing and rushing right you know and and yet they lost uh, you know and, and let the uh, you know the, the the falcons ended up winning that game i mean and and really that was because of turnovers right you know they the the falcons won the turnover battle but you know 15 rush attempts for 88 yards it's just not sustainable it's just not sustainable right pitts just non-existent obviously as any uh, you know falcons fan definitely knows that um and you know, I I know Robinson is still getting his yards, you know, total you know yards from scrimmage to it to a degree, but I think being able to establish him as a as a runner, you're still going to utilize him in all the different ways that you're going to utilize him. But being able to establish the run game, like a true run game, not a fancy run game, not an imaginative run game, but just to be able to truly run the ball. Look what the Detroit Lions did versus the uh, Seattle Seahawks. They don't win that game without being able to just run the ball. Just good, hard, physical runs, right? That's what the Falcons need to get back to. Because the Falcons have a, you know, Kirk Cousins is in a lot of ways a similar quarterback to um jared goff obviously not identical but it's very they have a lot of similarities more similarities than differences and the way how jared goff is able to be jared goff is by establishing that run game and when they have that run going jared goff goes 18 for 18 perfect passer rating you know two touchdowns and a touchdown pass himself you know catching it it just opens up the playbook tremendously i know they don't have the exact personnel i know they're different teams but it's still an interesting um frame of reference that the Falcons should be looking to. Um, I think there's more similarities than differences, personally. Um, you know, uh, they need to be... Uh, I, I just think that they need to find and be confident in an offensive identity, right? Um, they, they need to be able to... They're finding a way to win these uglier games, which is absolutely beneficial, right? That That's absolutely valuable. And, you know, the Falcons do deserve credit. But again, understand what I'm saying here. Whenever I'm like extra, um, I don't want to say uh, criticizing, but whenever I'm kind of really just not just c congratulating when they when, when a team wins, it's because my expectations are higher. 
for the Falcons, right? If it was just like, yeah, I think they have a chance to win the division and you know, what are you going to do? Then I would say, yeah, great win. That's awesome. They found a way. They won the turnover battle and they outplayed the Falcon, the, the Saints and yada, 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 tough divisional game. But it's like, my expectations are higher than that. My expectations are for this team to be a really, really good quarterback, a really, really good team. The team that people don't want to face come time playoffs, right? Because it's a hard physical defense. And when Kirk Cousins has time in the pocket, yeah, he's no long, he, he's not 25, but he can still, you know, cut it loose and pick you apart, right? He can go toe to toe with Patrick Mahomes if you give him a good defense. And they almost beat the Pat- Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. But they had no run game. You have the run game, they win that game, right? That, 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 that's the key here. So I, I just need the Falcons to just try to find an identity, right? Come from a place where defenses are actually like a little bit more uncomfortable right now, quite frankly, because it's just not consistent enough. Um, and so, uh, you know, I also wrote down, you know, what's interesting is the Falcons keep making games ugly for every opponent, which is true. Um, and when you do that, the margin of error shrinks, which is good. So if the Falcons continue to minimize their own mistakes, then they can keep winning, right? They were able to take advantage of the Eagles making mistakes, Falcons win. They were able to take advantage of the uh, Saints making mistakes, Falcons win. That's the problem with the, with the, with the Chiefs. The Chiefs minimized their mistakes. They had some mistakes, but the Falcons were unable to capitalize, unable to run the ball, they don't win that game. The Steelers game, I throw that away. First game, week one, weird matchup. Steelers versus Falcons. Coaches that kind of know each other. Um, Kirk Cousins' first game post Achilles. So it's like, I don't really know if there's a whole lot to really learn from that game personally. Um, but this is also becoming a defensively led team. So I also think you got to lean into it, right? You got to understand that this is a defensively led team and play accordingly, right? Get those field goals. You don't have to be hyper aggressive. You're playing for time of possession, field position, and don't be afraid to kick field goals. Field goals win. Field goals won here, right? You got a great field goal kicker. Lean into it. Just be smart. Continue to, again, the name of the game is minimizing turnovers, dominating the time of possession. Kirk Cousins should have 25 pass attempts a game. The rest should be run, 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 run. And when you run, 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 it opens up the passing game for Kirk Cousins. And if you open up the passing game for Kirk Cousins, he's going to be able to hit his guys. He is a he is a very accurate, calm, collected quarterback. I feel like Falcons fans have already gotten a taste of that, right? But you do it in a way, like I said, that's going to minimize turnovers and you're going to win some games. It's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be super exciting. It's not going to be highlight reels where everyone's just singing and dancing and putting So it works. It's what they did last year as well. It's how they won the Super Bowl. So, and I I keep using them as a reference in a lot of videos recently because they're right now, the Chiefs are the gold standard for winning ugly games. So you can see it's possible. You can see, and that's with Patrick Mahomes turning the ball over left and right, and yet they're still able to make it work. Because that defense is legit. And so I think the Falcons can get there, but they just have to be smart right? They have to be a hyper intelligent team. And I think they can get there. But those are just my thoughts. I'd absolutely love to hear yours. What do you guys all think about the Atlanta Falcons victory over the New Orleans Saints? Let me know in the comments below. I read every single comment. It's whether you agree with me or disagree with me. Either way, let's get in some discussions. Let's get in some fights. But ultimately, let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing community here, and I'd absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to, something that we're really excited to be part of. I think we're well on our way to doing it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so